All right, welcome Lego fans to a surprise, the third of the new Lego Hobbit sets. Yay! I uh, realized I had a couple of Target gift cards lying around, oh, so wow. I was able to get this set. And actually, I think you got me those gift cards. Oh. Uh, so thank you. No problem. And that was last Christmas. Oh, wow. So, yeah. I saved these quite a while. So, of course, this is Attack on Late Town. I originally said that this was the worst of the new LEGO Hobbit sets. And I sets. still agree. Yes, I would still say that. But it's not quite as bad as I uh, originally thought it was. Um, it's actually got quite a bit of play value. Every minifigure in the set has something new about it, if, uh, if it's not uh, completely exclusive. And it actually looks really good when you combine it with uh, Late Town Chase. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the specifics. Here is the box. And by the way, Andrew 191230 is with us today. Yes, I'm not a ghost. Just Andrew 191230 again. Yes. Um, so here's the box. I can so, get a brick separator if you want me to. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I think so, I, have a huge, I have a whole container full of yeah, I do separators. Too. Uh, recommended ages 8 to 14, set number 79016. It's Attack on Lake Town. Uh, 313 pieces and $30, so actually a very good price per piece oh, ratio wow. on this set. Unlike some of the other sets in this wave. Yeah. Namely, The Lonely Mountain and the Battle of the Five Armies to some extent as well. I think is pretty bad as well. Um, oh. So... <laughs> This is the only Hobbit slash Lord of the Rings set to contain a spring-loaded shooter, so that does make this set very cool. And, considering that this will probably be the last wave of Middle Earth sets, then yes. this will be the only. Probably so. Um, you get five minifigures, the completely new Bane Son of Bard, which honestly I don't think it looks anything like him. Uh. Um, he's actually, I think, almost as tall as his dad. So We get a new face on Bard the Bowman, new outfit on Tauriel, and new hair and heads on our Hunter Orcs. Once again, I believe that this is partially a Desolation of Smaug and partially a Battle of the Five Armies scene, because part of it looks like the Hunter's scene that's going on simultaneously with all the Smaug stuff, and then part of it I think is when, spoiler, 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 go away. Hope you're gone, because I'm going to tell you. And I think the other part of the scene is when Bard the Bowman will kill Smaug, the terrible chiefest and greatest of Calamity. You should have the thing where, um, in the Minecraft Weekly Recaps OMG Chad, whenever he does, like, spoilers to HCs, he has this time, this time thing in the video. He says, skip to this if you don't want any spoilers. <laughs> well, I mine are only... A few seconds long. Yeah. Now, I am going to tell you, some people think that Bard is actually not going to kill Smaug in Lake Town. Because there's another Windlance in Dale. So some people, and that's where Gurion knocked the scale loose on Smaug. So some people think it would be fitting if that's where Smaug is killed. And of course that means that this Windlance is not the one that will kill Smaug. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, we'll, we'll have to wait until December 17th to find out. One thing I will say, though, is I think LEGO would want to include the Windlance that is going to end up killing yeah. Smaug, wouldn't you? Uh-huh. Just a random Windlance to shoot stuff at. Yeah. Or maybe they think, oh, they can get both sets and they can add the Windlance to the Battle of the Five Armies set. Because there is, I think there is, like, in a little abandoned roof section. So... Well, we'll have to wait and find out, and we'll do update videos once we know for sure what is going to happen. By the way, if you cannot wait to see the Desolation of Smaug extended scenes, there is a YouTube channel that has all of the new scenes up. Oh, uh, what, what is it that channel? It was all movies, TV, yeah. something. And but if you can, try and include the, um, the um, link to the um, yeah, channel. I'll try to remember that. And by the way, uh, that channel is new. Yeah. So it's like it's all like movie it, scenes? Yeah, just, just extended Tita. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm not going to tell you my thoughts. I have watched all the scenes for the most part. I could not help myself. Uh, I've watched three. Watched um, uh, Bayorn hat with the. Um, if you've read the book, you should know that um, they had an opening introduction. 
Mm -hmm. to, they earn, and I watched that scene. I also watched a scene with, well, another small they earn scene, and the um, deleted, there's a deleted introduction to the Woodland Realm scene that I saw. Which is not in there. <laughs> Isn't even in the extended edition. There's a lot of things people thought were going to be in there that are not in there, which is interesting. They could have bumped it up to like half an hour, 40 minutes if they really wanted to, I think. But they don't really want to, is the thing. And some people think there's going to be an extended, extended edition uh, sometime yay! down the road. Which is really cheap if that's the case, if you ask me. Well, I mean, if they are, they better make the case look amazing. Like, yeah. Totally amazing. In that case, I'd be selling my theatrical versions and my regular extended editions uh -huh. in order to pay for that. I think I'm going to, once I get the Battle of the Five Armies theatrical version and then the extended edition of that one comes out, I'll just do like a mass sellout. Here's all the theatrical versions of Lord of the Rings and The <laughs> Hobbit because no one cares about them anymore. Before you go and sell them all. Mm -hmm. So, that's enough about that. We will be doing a review on that once we actually get the DVDs that we can hold in our hands. And we've seen a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff. The nine hours of appendices. You've seen the nine hours of appendices? Yes, I sat down and watched them all right in the row. No, oh, that's that awesome. I, no, I've seen snippets of them. I, I haven't seen. You mean appendices of T Dolls? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've. Just little, little tiny, tiny snippets, like a minute uh, long. I've... Um, so we want, and another thing I'm hoping we're going to get is if it's not included in the DVDs, which I'm thinking they're not, that we're going to get an unexpected pamphlet again on the OneRing.net. Ah. Remember that from last year? Yep. So I really hope... I'm going to have to actually put this one together, which the unexpected pamphlet I have not even put together. That is sad. And I really, I, if they don't include a part one or part two on the TDOS Extended, which I very doubt that they would, I, I really love the part one part two discs that they include. Why, because it builds up the suspense or something? I just, it's... I mean, it's a long movie, so putting in a part one, part two, kind of... Why don't you just determine how you're going to split it up yourself? Because I'm lazy like that. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> but I'm surprised you'd want to do that, because then you actually have to get up and change the discs out. And oh, and also, the um, like the artwork on the discs are pretty cool, too. you seen the artwork on the discs? What? You've seen the artwork on the discs? Uh, there's artwork on the discs. You've seen it? Yeah, why? Oh, okay. All right, oh, that's enough of that for now. Okay, Let's okay, get yeah. To this, uh, so, oh wait, instruction booklet. We forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. And we're seven or eight minutes in. Yep. So here is the instruction booklet. One once again, and folded up lazily. Two numbered bags, as you can see there. I think the first bag was actually considerably larger than the second bag. And in the back, it actually shows you how you can connect Witch King Battle to the other two sets. Oh, wow. So I did a video, I am going to be doing a video showing you um, what that will look like. You actually have to take Witch King Battle apart huh. and split it in half to do that though and take the catapult section off. But it looks alright. And for once, it actually advertised all three of the other sets. Uh -huh. And. Unless Andrew decides to get this, we'll have to wait a while for the Battle of the Fire Worm reset. <laughs> yeah, that's right there is where I was saying that you might be able to put the Wind Lance. Oh, yeah. But, I don't know yet. Well, I don't think, I will not be getting the Battle of the Fire Worm set before any special event, as I like to call it. <laughs> because I've spent quite a bit of money in these past Ask years. for it for your birthday, because then we can get it sooner. Sorry, but I'm not... I, let me just tell you viewers that if you ever become friends with Bilbo, he's going to want you to only buy the sets that he does not. He doesn't really care if you like any sets that he gets. He just wants to buy the ones that he doesn't have. It's the Battle of the Five Rarries. Actually, if I could pick one set not to review before the movie, it'd be that one, because that one we have no idea what that scene is going to look like in the movie yet. Uh, These other three we kind of do. Somewhat. Especially Lonely Mountain. Anyway, let's get to actually reviewing yes. this set. So let's start out with the Hunter Orcs. Yes. Would you like to take those? 
I would not. Fine. But Fine. I, think I, I mean, actually, I'll, I'll, I actually like them. Huh. So you get two in this set, um, identical except for their weapons. Now, we have seen the torsos and the legs before, but we have not seen the heads and the hair before. So just more uh, variety on your orcs now. So here's the hair piece. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It just fits on like that. And then the heads are different too. I'll be comparing them to previous orcs in just a moment. And he comes with the overused orc sword. Uh. Uh, and then the second one is an archer orc. So he just comes with a quiver and a short bow. And that's the only thing that's different about him. So here's one of them compared to the Gundabad orcs that we saw in the last wave. And did we get more of those in the Battle of the Five Army set? Let me look. I think it's Goon the Bad Orcs in the... Yes. Yeah, you get two Goon the Bad Orcs in the Battle of the Five Armies. So this is the only set in this wave where you're going to get Hunter Orcs instead. Um, and then here they are compared to previous Hunter Orcs with different hair and the ear pieces attached to the hair. Righty, do you need to take a call or something? What? Do you need to take a call or something? I thought that was you. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> I don't care. It is you, because I... First yeah. of all, my phone's in the other room. Uh, whatever, I'll get it later. Um, <laughs> why don't you go and show Bard? Since you like Bard so much. <laughs> and you want to show Bane, don't you? Actually, I'd rather show Tower Idol. Oh, I... I, I think Tower Idol has the neatest... Okay. Uh, different... I'll show Bard and Bane if you want. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Here is Mr. Bard. Mr. Bard. Mr. Bard, yes. I actually, what? I actually lost a lot of respect for Bard because of one of the new extended scenes. Yeah. Did you see that one? I haven't seen it, but I... Do you want to know the gist of it? No, I do not. Okay. Um, it's slightly okay. inappropriate if you analyze it enough. All right, let's just let's go back to Lego Bard. Yeah, I'll because be talking. Yeah, Lego Bard hasn't done anything. I guess so. He's just a piece of plastic. He, yeah. He has no soul, he has no heart, so he, he can't sin, I suppose. But, maybe if you look close enough into those plastic eyes, you'll see some of his demons. That's where my demons hide. That's where my demons hide. Okay, so Don't what class? Get too close. I'll shoot my bow. <laughs> you should have used part from Diamond Heart. Uh, so what classification of a bow is this? Uh, it's a long bow. Ah, okay, a long bow. See the difference? Um, barely. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I do. The bow is, the, the, the shaft of the bow is longer. Okay, so here it is. This is a long bow, and... Come no, through. don't take all those pieces apart. Okay. We don't need to do that. So you want me to just show everything with... All of him. Except for the second face, of course. So, like, you want me to keep the bow on him? No, you can take the bow off. Just don't take all the yeah. parts yeah. off. Here is... And the only is thing that's that? different about this oh, bird from the original bird is his face. Yeah. Now, in the Battle of the Five Armies, we get a completely new bird. And then here is his... battle scar, <laughs> yes. dusty, bloody face. Yeah. I mean, except for Smaug and the uh, orcs, what gave that to him? Oh yeah, I mean, a dragon okay. and a bunch of orcs are, aren't, aren't gonna make you look a little rugged. <laughs> no, they're, they're nice. Well, I mean, after a time, after the orc scene in Tidos, it didn't seem like he was pretty scarred. Well, actually, he was in jail. Oh yeah, he was in jail. <laughs> so they give you a free cleaning in jail? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's, yeah, I, that, that's, uh, is that a new torso? I'm, no. Oh, okay. Here, I'll compare him to the original bird. The new bird, he looks a lot more worried and less confident. Yes. And then the other face on the original bird was an angry face. Yes. Actually, I think that's wow. the same face, except that they add the dusty, scarred stuff on. Oh, yeah, it's, 
There we go. There we go. On okay. the new bird face. Rather than that, same bird. Yep. Okay, then I'll show Bane, which I mean, he's not my favorite Save Bane figure. Oh, okay. I thought we saved the coolest Bane figure for last. Most people are going to think he's the coolest because he's the only completely new one. I, ah. don't, I just don't like that many yeah, I, personally. I think Tauriel's torso is I definitely like awesome. the new Tauriel better than the old one. Yeah. Uh, another longbow. Um, I believe, yeah, the faces are the same. I like yeah. the Tauriel a lot. Hair. Yeah, I... More detail on the old one. But on the new one, it stands out more. It's more colorful. Yes. And I like that. I guess you can't like that. Whatever. And then back printing and the other face. Oh, it's a little bit. There you go. There. So, yeah, this is actually probably my favorite. Even though I hate the character, I think this yeah. is probably the best minifigure. Yeah. I mean, I just... Bane, I Let's mean... Let's see, guys, I, it's better to go down in style, right? Yeah. I mean, Bane isn't my favorite minifigure by any means, but and I still think... I mean, would you rather have had them not made Bane at all and just made a four-minifigure set, or would you rather... Them well, make... I'd rather have yeah. Bane, but I would have rather had Alfred, because I think he's more of a main character, at least so far. Yeah, but I mean, I just... I like him much. in the sense of I'd rather have him in the set than not have him in the set. Yes. That's pretty much it, though. Yeah. I mean, the only weapon he has is a fish. Fish. He looks more like Ron Weasley than Bane. Isn't this like when this would be a perfect? I think that it is Ron. Oh yeah. Sir. That that would be. I was thinking yeah. I've seen the first movie. And he looks and more boyish in this form than he does in the movie. I mean, he's like our age in the movie. Maybe a little bit younger. Yeah, but I mean, how are they going to make how are they going to make a boy in Lego form? I mean, they've got. I mean, how are they going to make a teenager in Lego form? I mean, they got they have the Martin old... McFly. Hey. Although he did look a little adultish, didn't he? Yeah, but I mean, I they know how to make a full scale adult minifigure, and they know how to make a child minifigure, but they. I mean, I'm taller than my dad. <laughs> Do not really know how to make a teenager minifigure. Well, that's a new thing for them to figure out. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, it's perfect. The torso's cool. Perfect, yeah, I, I really like the torso. They could have just made a minifigure called Bane's Torso. <laughs> but that would be weird. <laughs> I mean, his head, his head isn't the worst, it's alright. Oh, and he actually does have a battle scarred head too. Are you gonna show us that, or are you just gonna keep that information to yourself? <laughs> I was trying to make it um uh the the focus. It works. Oh, it did. Okay. I don't know what it does and when it doesn't. Yeah, he yes. looks a lot like Bird, with his dusty, scarred, bloody face. Yes. I couldn't think of another adjective. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. get to the actual set when we're about 20 minutes into the video. Mm -hmm. um, you do get the most pitiful Lego boat I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Way worse even than Gollum's boat in Riddles for the Ring from two years ago. It's just like, really? <laughs> really? I couldn't have made like a huge... Uh, Lake Town Submarine or something like that? Lake Town Submarine. <laughs> the hunt for Red Lake Town Boat. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's like, well, it's better than nothing, I yeah. suppose. But not a whole lot. <laughs> we respect it in the sense that we like it more than if it wasn't in the set. Even that. Uh, even that. Is hardly true. It's true, but hardly true. Alright, so let's move on to the actual structure, which I like. I think it's a very yeah. good $30 set. You've got a good four functions in the set. Huh? And it looks really good when you combine it with Late Time Chase, which we'll be doing here at the end of the video. So let's start on the left, and we'll go ahead and move over to the right. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is this barrel thing that's attached to a string. 
that it is used for Bane, I believe. Yes, right? so you can put Bane on there. Oh, you can. Holding the convenient handle. Uh -huh. Convenient handle is convenient. King. And you can move this up and down. And how is he even supposed to be moving if his legs aren't on the ground? And I suppose he's like <laughs> throwing his body weight yeah. into it. And you can knock orcs over like that. Put one loosely down here. Well, I mean, if, if you, you put it completely down, I mean, that's not going to knock it down. You gotta have him. You gotta have him maneuver very loosely on there if you want to knock him down. See, I mean, there's, there's no way. I mean, the only way you could make it one fall down, it would be so fragile that it would fall down without its help. I mean, it would be so fragile that it would fall down because of gravity. There, I did it. Oh yeah, here. He was leaning against the wall. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so you can make it work, if, but it's a stretch. It's a very big stretch. All right, the second function, and by the way, you don't really get any interior decorating, but you know, what are you gonna do? Yeah. We didn't. Really well, get I mean, a whole this isn't an interior decorating set. This is a battle set. Yes. So the sec, well, over here on the left of the structure is a ladder, so you can climb up. But as with a lot of Lego ladders. No, I'm gonna pick on her. As is the case with tons of Lego ladders over the years, you have to be careful when you're climbing this ladder so that this doesn't happen. And now she's gonna drown because she has a heavy ladder on top of her, <laughs> and she's in freezing cold water. And Not she only Kyle though, she just jump. She before she landed in the water, she would jump on top of it. That's how Kyle would act. Oh, you're probably right. Let's see that again. Ah. No, if she you don't would, have weight... She wouldn't hit the water. She would notice before she hit the water and jump on top of it. That's and awesome. if you don't have weight on there, it'll go flying a bit more. Like that. And if you're wondering how that is accomplished, it's just on two small studs right here. There's two, sm actually one small stud right there, and then that little technique structure there is what knocks it down. We've um, got some little open windows here on this side, and we do have one window with shutters, which is on the other side. And we have a nice little bridge here. Yes. Only regret I have, and it would have had to have been an enorm enormous set for this to work is that the boat from Lake Town Chase can't go underneath this. Yeah. That is probably why they gave us this. So you can have a boat that goes underneath this. It's just too bad they didn't make this slightly bigger. Yeah. Um, but Lego doesn't want to do that. Right. So, and then here's the bridge up here. We've got some little snow on the side. And uh, guardrails only on one side. So uh. I, I guess you have to lean over on that side to ensure you don't fall over on this side. I don't know. The logistics behind some Lego Middle things. Earth is simply not believe in guardrails. <laughs> okay, so now on the other side, let's start at the bottom and we'll end with the wind lance at the top. I will shout over the airplane. <laughs> uh, we got the funny thing is, you look closer to... I know I do. <laughs> so... Here we got like a little step leading down to the water in case you want to go for a swim. Uh -huh. uh, maybe in the, maybe in the summertime. Uh -huh. I don't know. We got a little lamp over to the side here. There's the shutters I was telling you about. You can open those up if you'd like to let some air in, especially if the master of Lake Town is around, even the things that he's eating in the extended edition, which I won't go into yet. Yes, please do not. I'll have to put a parental guidance as suggested on my extended edition review. But then again, they had to put that on the movie itself. So, and they got snow inside of this building. Very messy of them, yeah. isn't it? Of course, we wouldn't know because we don't live where there's a whole lot of snow. In fact, we live where there's no snow. We live in South America. <laughs> yes, their secret finally revealed. So, you're probably wondering, what kind of a doorknob is this? Well, they include that because it is a zip line piece, and if you want to, you can take that off and have this take that off. 
attach this to maybe, I don't know, some here maybe, on the roof. And then you can use this, give this to a minifigure, because everyone knows that in Middle Earth, everybody loves zip lines. Yeah. And you can give the minifigure the zip line thingy, and they can have a grand old time on a zip line. How, what other, what other places have you seen those? Lego Agents. Ah. One set. Right. This is only the second time I've gotten this piece, actually. It's the first time I've ever seen it. I actually think you get two of them in the set. I forget where the other one is, though. Uh, maybe it's up here somewhere. I'll have to find that. So, yeah, I believe you get at least two of these in this set. So, yeah, this serves a dual purpose interesting looking doorknob and a zip line. And that also means that the function up here serves a dual purpose as well. But anyway, back down to this bottom section, there is a cool function there where when you open the door, look up here. Um, Oh, yeah. Flaming embers are going to fall down on your head. Isn't that kind? That is absolutely generous. I know. And I remember I saw, the, I saw I... the Brick Show review of that. And the, the one guy said, I used to do that to my brother all the time. Except there's water or something. Uh, and then you kind of have to feed those back into there. And then I believe this lamp controls the... Yeah. Uh, that's how you're gonna fold it back up. And you, if you're wondering if you can open the door by pushing down on the lamp, kind of, but not really. And I broke the lamp. This is just okay. Uh -huh. You get the deal. And then once again, inside, no concept of interior decorating, unless you want snow inside your house. Yeah. All right, moving up to the top section, which is probably the coolest section. Um, we've got some little messy looking boards here like this place has been boarded up for a long time some open windows and the back section that's open just make sure you don't fall out mm -hmm. um, with the recoil of this thing the recoil yes so up here we've got a little chrome lantern that swings and that might be where that other uh, I can't remember. Maybe, maybe you don't get two of these. I think about yeah it was a different piece I was thinking of. It's another weird looking Technic piece and then you don't get a light here, but you get this little black ball thing, which gives an interesting look. But anyway, this is probably what most people want the set for, and that is the wind mats. So, it's very fragile, we'll say that happens to me all the time, and I only finished building this last night, so I told you something. It goes up and down, but not side to side. Um, and then to fire it, you're just going to push down on this. And if there was not a box there, that probably goes shooting... Into my pool. Possibly. Poss probably not quite. Mm. Probably not quite to the pool. Mm. But... Streamloaded sure shooters are pretty powerful. Yes, there is a possibility that if you shot it high enough into the air and with enough power that it would go flying into the pool. But, luckily... Luckily, you get an extra one in case such a terrible thing were to happen. But since I want two of them, if that happened, I'd make you jump in the pool and get it for me. Luckily, it's only October and not January. So I believe that's about it for the set, except for the design on the roof. You only get three sections of the roof. I guess they just didn't feel like making a roof for the fourth yeah. part. Um, so there that is. There, there that is. There that is. You know, nobody says it. There it is. Late attack on late time. Yo, yeah, isn't that what it is? <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the ratings, and then I'm gonna show it to you with um, Lake Town Chase, and I'm gonna show you the Windlands with Smell. So I'll rate the build. You can rate the play, and I will rate the display once. Yes. Yeah. So for the build, the price per piece ratio is very good. You do get some very interesting pieces for a set of this size and price. Um, and I think they did a nice job on it, so even though it's not one of my favorite sets, I really don't think I can go much lower than a 9. Mm, yeah. So, and then I, I also think play yeah. is very good in this set. Yeah. So I, if I were you, I'd give that a high rating, but I'm going to leave that up to you. Yeah, well, I just, 
The thing is, I... I... You think a nine would be good for that? That's what I was thinking of there. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, it is very, very good for a play. Yeah. And for display, I'm going to go a little lower. Yeah. Um, but not a whole lot. It's a good $30 set. One of the better $30 hot well, I mean, slash I LTR just, sets. At the beginning, I thought this was an absolutely terrible set. I didn't even know if I was going to get it ever. But, I mean, for $30, $30 is a lot less expensive than I, a lot cheaper or less expensive or two than what I thought its price would be. Mm -hmm. I'd say for value, this might be the best set in the league. Either this mm -hmm. or Witch King Battle. Well, Witch King Battle for for um, for exclusiveness and everything, definitely, I'd say beats it. Yes. But it's a, it's a great $30 yeah. set. There's no denying that. Um... I mean, if you're going to get gift and not have it be like the Witch King battle, want to have it be relatively large, but not like the Lonely Mountain, this would be... Ideal. Yeah. And for display, did I, I did already rate it. I you didn't. already rate it. Yeah, well, no, I, I didn't. Remember. I don't think I did. I'm going to give it a 7.5 hmm. for display. So overall, a great deal on this set. Now let me show it to you combined with a few things. Here is Smaug compared to it. <laughs> He's bigger than it. But that, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. So, can you put, can you hold Smaug there? Oh, and then, you know, what up. if I do like great that so that they can? Yeah. So that is the approximate, well act, actually it's exact, not approximate. That is what that will look like when you add Smaug. Hang on a second, that came off again. Terrible. That would be my biggest complaint about this set. And then, of course, on Smaug, you've got the loose scale right there, so you can have fun aiming at that. Ay, ay, ay. And firing away at Smaug, the terrible, cheapest, and greatest of calamities. And the steam will begin to rise from the lake. I knocked one of his <laughs> fingers off. Or oh, that... you dislocated his Oh, I dislocated it. I thought it was like this, so I thought I'd knock it off. He dislocated Smaug's claw. <laughs> and now I'm going to show it to you, not with Smaug, but with Lake Town Chase. It actually, it's really good on display, I think. Um, I have something like this. I think. Something like that. Load the boat. Can load the black arrow back in. There. Where is that barrel? Oh, uh, right there? here. Right where? Oh no, boy. where was it? Oh, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think that's supposed to be somewhere in the town on Lake Town, but where? Right. Let me get the instruction in there real quick. I know it was in the last step. Oh, that's right. I, fell, I took it off of the zip line thing. There we go. Put the barrel here. And then tower his boat. Another thing you can do is you can add Legolas either from Battle of the Five Armies or Escape from Rookwood Spiders. Because if this is the scene from the Desolation of Smaug or even the combined scene, then he was there. You can, you can, of course, add more orcs. You can never have enough orcs in a scene, right? You have swimming orcs. <laughs> um, orcs climbing ladders. Orcs partying with the master. Yep, that too. You have orcs falling off the of ladders into the icy, cold water. You can even have flying orcs up here. Flying orcs. Yeah. <laughs> and then, if you have... Uh, escape from Rookwood Spiders in Lake Town Chase, you can have an extra flying towel <laughs> and an extra bar of the bowman, and then you can have a Twilight Zone episode wrapped in a Hobbit story. Yay! And then, if you want to get really crazy, you can add Smaug in here, too. Well, I'm glad that was your set and not mine. Yeah. But it shouldn't be. For the most part. Of place. You knocked this down again, but that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. So for fragiliness, this set will get a little bit of a low rating, especially for this. Um, oh wow! How did I knock that down? I know. The wind lance.
So yeah, these two sets combined makes one of the best displays I've seen. I actually think I might like it better than all three of the Gold Gulder sets. Yeah. Because yeah. it's different looking with the water and stuff. I mean, Lake Town, boat. I I've always loved the yeah the, the like the likeness. Uh, I don't know how to say it any different, but it's the Venice of Middle Earth. Yeah. I mean, I just I love the look of Lake Town, of like a Lake Town. It just looks well, amazing. Don't get too attached to it. Smell doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Smell's gonna die. After he burns Lake Town to a crisp. Oh, spoiler alert! <laughs> Hopefully you've all read the book. Most people have read the book. Um, even the Brick Show has read the book. Even I have read the book. Even Andrew, <laughs> who's read like three books in his entire life, has read The Hobbit. So, that is Attack on Lake Town. So we got, so still got Battle of the Five Armies to get to. It's probably going to be a while yet, though. Of course, yeah. I said that about this set, too, but... Expect that for this one, and then we got Lego Minecraft coming hopefully yeah. sometime. I really love Lego Minecraft. I'm sorry, but Lego Minecraft's gonna be a bigger priority for me. Oh. I mean, I I mean just barely, but still, I. It's, it's... Yeah, this is really good. So we got Lego Minecraft, one final Lego Hobbit set, extended edition, all kinds of merchandise for the new movie. All that stuff is coming soon. So stay tuned. Thanks and a few other things coming right now. Oh yes, yeah, some little things, such as the Halloween bat, which we'll be getting to very shortly. And a few other things with you. Now, <laughs> oh, like that? who do you think is scarier? Smaug be terrible, or the Halloween bat? Permission to completely obliterate the bat? No. Okay.